Hello again, everybody. It's the crazy, fugly guy on YouTube again. Anyway, today's post, we're going to be talking about certain materials. Now, um, for our little experiment this week, um, we're going to be using just basic, basic, basic materials. We're, basic, we're basically going to take the most easiest things at hand, and we're going to make an electric instrument. Okay? Now, as far as strings, we're going to be using alternative materials. We're not going to be using steel strings. We're going to be using something a little bit more handier. Now, let's talk about um, rubber and elastics. Okay? Bungee cords, uh, long, thin, cut strips of bicycle inner tube, uh, huge postal rubber bands, anything like that that can stretch and has a memory is probably what we should use this time because we're also going to be making our own tuning keys. We're going to use friction pegs. Now, it might be a little too hard to make them sticky enough for something so strong as steel strings that would require quite a bit of tension. That's more something for like machine heads with the little worm gear and the little cog on it, you know. So, um, anything, anything that stretches, but you want to stay away from hollow things, you know, like aquarium tubing or something, if you're going to have something that's acoustic and electric. Because with hollow tubes, with hollow strings, a lot of the acoustic qualities are dampened. So, it's not going to be good for anything of any acoustic ability. But we're only going to be making something electric, not acoustic. So as long as it carries a vibration, everything will be fine. Now, I'm going to be using silicon rubber strings. Um, you can find rubber cord in some areas of your local home center warehouse. You might find it in black or something or gray. Or uh, some people actually use the rubber, again, this is hollow, rubber stuff that sticks in the edges of window screens to hold the screen to the frame. That kind of has a little bit of memory. But after using it for about a week or two, they kind of remember what they've stretched to and kind of relax to that. So it's not really good for anything permanent. But um, anything anything with a, a, that'll be tense enough and have a vibration enough uh, because we're going to be using something very very sensitive as a pickup. So we're not going to be using uh, magnetic pickups. We're going to be using something called a piezoelectric element. Now all the ones I have are like used in guitar things right now so you're going to have to wait till next post and I'll show it to you. It's this little round thin wafer chippy thing. Basically it's like a speaker. It's like those little buzzers or, or like uh, I got mine out of uh, a $2 stopwatch that I took apart and pulled the chip out. Sometimes you find little little tiny dollar store toys that just beep or buzz or something. That little chip in there is what does it. Now, just like a regular microphone or a speaker, it can work in reverse. What it does, if you press on it or tap on it or any vibrate anything on it, it'll take that mechanical energy and convert it to electrical energy and send a signal. That's, just, that's what we're going to be using in this week's um, project. All right, well, before I embarrass myself anymore, because it's clear that I've stayed awake all night and I'm way over coffeeed, I think we're going to end this post right now, except uh, I should touch on one other thing. Um, the other materials, you know, we're just going to, like, any kind of wood, like, like, where is it? Like this right here. <coughs> We're actually going to be using this stuff. You know, you can find this discarded at like a, a construction site, like, well, <laughs> like I did. But, um, yeah, it, it, this is going to be a very easy and simple project as our first project, our first experiment. And from there, we'll go on to more complicated things. We're going to walk before we run, okay? But we'll have fun doing it. Stay tuned next, this coming Friday, and check out that day's post. Thanks for coming by.